work out today is an opportunity to flush out some of our body, right? We're trying to move quickly through this workout. However, if you're not feeling all that great, don't worry. It's a great day to just move. We're going to be going through three different sections of this workout. And in each section, you're going to start off with an 800 meter run. Okay, we're going to be working on a six minute clock. So the 800 meter run should take around four minutes to complete. With that time remaining in that six minutes, you're going to go ahead and choose one of the following. Calorie ski, calorie concept two bike, or double unders. So in this first section, for instance, say I choose the ski. All right, I'm going to go ahead. I have six minutes to complete an 800 meter run. And then with the time remaining, I'm going to get here on this uh, skier and I'm going to go ahead and do as many calories as I can. When the six minutes is up, I'm going to go ahead and rest two minutes and recover. And then I'm going to start my next six minute window. I'm going to run 800 meters again. And when I return, now my two options will either be double unders or calories on this C2 bike. I'm going to choose the C2 bike on this second round. So this time I'm going to go ahead and get as many calories as I can here on the C2 bike. Once that six minutes is up, I get two more minutes of rest. And then I'm going to go ahead and start my last six minute window. I'm going to run my 800 meters. And then with the time remaining, I'm going to do the last exercise that's on the list, which is going to be the double under. Here I'm going to do as many double unders as I can with that time remaining. All right, I might choose to go ahead in this first set of double unders to see how many I can get unbroken. And then from there, I'm just gonna chip away at the remaining amount of time. Now, if you need to scale this down, like I said, for the 800, it's gonna take roughly around four minutes to go ahead and complete. So if we need to scale it, we can scale it to 600 meters. You can also scale it to 400 meters. So for some people who are not running, 400 meter walk or swift walk is an option. You can be, I believe you can go ahead and get 400 meters done in that four minute window range. But if you absolutely do not want to run or walk, you can go ahead and complete an 800 meter row. All right, so those are gonna be our substitutes and our scales for this. And again, if you don't have um, the ability to have a C2 bike or a ski, you can go ahead and sub the ski for a row and the uh, concept two bike with an echo bike or an assault bike, any type of bike. I mean, in reality, you could probably go ahead and do a road bike too, if you had the time. All right. So as we move through this workout, I want you to really focus on running, running technique. We don't want to be uh, heel striking uh, as we run. We want to keep ourselves a little bit more forward with that lean and really try to pick up the feet as we move swiftly um, through that distance. This workout, again, is going to be really fun. It is going to make you have to work a little bit hard, but I think it's great to get the heart pumping and a little bit of sweat on your face.